Hi, this video is part of a build log series where I'm making motorized shoes that you'd wear when you play a VR game. Last time, I did a test with these shoes. I walked forward and I strafed, and if you missed that last video, go ahead and check it out. I show a lot of the testing that I did, and I go over the results and what I'm going to do next. The test I did in the last video was very quickly put together. It used basic algorithms and manual controls, and I found out that the electronics that I'm using in these shoes aren't the speediest, they aren't the most responsive. So I did not expect the shoes to be the most reliable or the most responsive during that test. The test was just to see if I should continue with this project, and with that in mind, it passed with flying colors. I posted my testing that I did on Imgur, Reddit, and Twitter, and it got thousands of views and thousands of upvotes, so thank you guys for that. Virtual Dreamers, another YouTuber, asked me if he could show my shoes in a video that he was making, and I said yes. The Edge of Tech, which has a stream every Monday, showed my shoes on their last stream. And a journalist from Gizmodo saw my Reddit post and actually wrote an article on Gizmodo. I'll leave links to the posts and videos and the article in the description below. Go check out Virtual Dreamer's video, he did a great job, and go check out Edge of Tech stream, it's always entertaining. My subscriber count more than doubled and I got more views than I ever have, so many of you might be new here, and if you are, welcome. Some people even donated some money to help me with the development costs for these shoes, and if you did, thank you so much, it means a lot to me. Now let's go into some project updates. Here's the design after all the small updates I did. Notice anything different? First, I noticed that during my strafing testing that the wheels would sometimes skid. They wouldn't skid very much and it wasn't a big deal, but I want to completely eliminate that problem. And to eliminate that problem, I have made the shoe a little skinnier, uh, a little thinner. So the space between the two rows of wheels here is half an inch thinner and that will help with weight distribution and it should eliminate the skidding that I experienced. In the last video I showed how the swivel for the leg binding was too short and the front of my foot was able to be at an angle when it was not supposed to. To correct that I've just extended the swivel here to be longer so that the front of the foot will also be strapped to the swivel part here. Next I noticed that the strap that the velcro goes through deforms a lot if I pull on the velcro too much. To fix that I've updated the strap so that I can add metal rods here that won't deform when you pull on the velcro. I got the idea from the metal loops here that are on the clip-in shoes that I use for my bike. Next I noticed that the rectangular piece that goes over the two rods, the very top of the shoe, would sometimes hit my leg if I lean too far. To fix that I just added an arc to the piece so that I could lean my leg over more and this piece won't hit my leg. I updated the electronic box so that the battery wires are covered, and so that it'll fit the new electronics that I'm going to use for the shoes. I've added two buttons to the platform that will tell me when the user's foot is on the platform and when the user's foot is in the air, and this will also allow me to have some support for jumping where the user can just lift his heel up uh, while keeping the front of his foot on the platform to simulate a jump. I also added a cover over the top of the platform, as you can see, that will cover up all of the screw heads and the mending brace. And finally, I added a slit where nuts will go through wherever there's a screw that is being used in this design. Before, the screws would just carve their way into the plastic, but that won't hold up over time. So now the screws will mate with a nut, and that should make these pieces last much longer. I've also been working on a safety structure that can provide more stability and support than what I had in the testing that I did in my previous video. In the previous video, I just had a safety harness tethered to a hook in the ceiling via a chain. If you take a look at Omni treadmills like the Catwalk and Infinidec, you can see that they support the user with a rigid harness that extends from above the user's head and straps around the user's waist. Even the Virtuox Omni supports the user around the waist. So I've come up with my own design here that bolts above the user's head. It can rotate, straps around the user's waist, and will support crouching. I'm still going to wear a safety harness coupled to the eye hook for extra safety. I want to try out many other safety structure designs. I have lots of ideas, but this will be the first I try out. And of course, I'm working on the coating that will automate the shoes and make them more responsive. That's it for this video. 
Thanks you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.